Hello, today we're going to look at the TNC 3.2 with the microchip MCP2517FD for with CAN FD. This is the TNC 3.2 and here we got the microchip MCP2517FD chip and that's connected to the CAN. Okay, now let's look at the, uh, the equipment we're going to use. Okay, we have the PCAN USB Pro CAN bus analyzer from Peak System. Also, we have the PCAN DIG FD, also from Peak. This unit will give us the waveform as well as the, uh, the messages. Okay, first we need to load up the software into the TNC. Let's do that. Okay, this is the TNC 3.2 sketch and um, the most important things to note is these lines this line here sets the count bus bold rate so we have 500k of arbitration rate and 2 megabits of data rate uh, these are the 4 meg and 8 meg so if you want to use one of these just uncomment this one and comment this one out um, so these three lines are the FD settings. So we have PRS set to 1, that means switch to the higher data rate. This one here means switch to FD and this one is the uh, the data length. 15 means uh, actually 64 bytes. So before we start, let's switch this back to CAN 2.0 uh, or classic can so let's do a test using classic can first so to turn FD off all you need to do is put that back to zero and the data size of eight bytes okay so now let's we can compile that but just make sure this is set on TNC 3.2 um, so let's verify that and check you've got no errors And let's upload. Okay, once the program is uploaded to the TNC, let's start uh, PCAM view. As you can see, the bit rate is transmitted at 500k. Uh, you can see the data on here and it's just counting up. Okay, now let's look at the um, the waveform on the PCAN die FD. First of all, let's connect um, HDMI to the unit. Okay, this is the view from the PCAN die unit. So let's look at the um, the scope view. Okay, so this is the scope view. Okay, so you can see the data is counting up and you can see the actual data is here, the data waveform. Okay, let's do some measurements on the actual time for the message. Let's put a cursor on here. So it is about 225 microseconds for the message, uh, ignoring any uh, bit stuffing. Okay, now let's put the FD message on and see what happens. So let's go back to the Arduino IDE. Let's do the whole one go. Um, so we turn BRS on and can FD on and now let's compile and upload. Okay, now look at the waveform. Ah, so, so you can see the waveform has decreased. So you can see the message time has decreased to about about 95 microseconds and you can see on the left on the top FD and BRS is on 
so that is your FD message and also at the bottom here this new line this one says FD and BRS is on so that is FD now let's look at the um, let's increase the data length to say 64 bytes and see what happens so let's put that back here and the DLC now the DLC we set to 15 that is equivalent to 64 bytes so let's upload that and see what happens upload done now let's look at the screen there so you can see a lot more data now let's move the cursor all the way back to the end so the message so the, the so the message time is about 365 microseconds and you can see at the on the analyzer uh, you get 64 bytes in length okay so that is a quick look at can and can fd on the tnc 3.2 hope you enjoyed the video catch you next time